Hello friends, this is Jagannath. Welcome back to our YouTube channel that is CNC Guru Tech Center. In our shop plan series, today we will learn something more, something interested. In our last series, we seen that how to do G71 and G72 cycle. That was very perfect and everybody given very good uh, response on that cycle. But Actually, I get some responses on that also that was the comments from a uh, few of our student that is Jason D'Souza asked me a question about that. If I wanted to give radius and chamfer, how will I give in G71 and G72 cycle? Because in previous cycle, I haven't mentioned that how to give radius and chamfer in that cycle. So this is my cycle. So this is the cycle and if I'm opening this cycle, this is our old program. I am going to this turning and if I am checking about this and I am saying accept, there is a no any type of chamfer or radius option. And if there is a chamfer or radius option or if there is any other options, how will I give this? There is no option. So for this type of the things, we have to use something else, something different type of the cycle. So today we will see about that. Okay, how to give radius and chamfer in G71 and 72 cycle in short term series in short term cycles. Yeah. So if you are new on my channel, I would like to request you that before starting to our topic that if you are new, you can please uh, subscribe to my channel. You can share to your friends. And if you have any questions like this, you can also ask me. I will definitely give response on that. And definitely I will try to give the solution that will be a perfect solution for both of us exactly so now this is my cycle which i given in front of you and for detailed information about this cycle header and footer i already created a video and the description is given in the link main cycle then g71 and 72 cycle already given in the description you just go to that description you will understand the detailing about that for Reducing the lengthiness of video, I am not explaining this all things here. I will just explain how to give radius and chamfer in that specific cycle. So, this was my cycle G71 and 72 as per your knowledge. So, I am just cutting this. And I am just moving to program header and just opening this. In this program header, if I am clicking there, there is options in HSK horizontal soft key. There is a third option that is a turning. I will click this option. In this option, again the option is that stock removal i will click this first option this is the first option we used to use this first option that was a stock removal cycle but now expectation is different mr jason asked me that i wanted to give radius and chamfer there is no radius and chamfer here so i will directly go to second option vertical soft key number four that is the just below to the previous option second option i will click this once i will click this option you will find this type of the different window in front of you there is a different cycle in front of you you have to give the responses to this cycle then you can easily create a radius or chamfer for your profile or for your material so this is my main window this is opening in front of me and in the animation you can see that there is a there is a radius you can see radius chamfer is also there okay so first of all in this cycle what my cycle is asking i will give the responses to that first is that select tool which tool i wanted to select i will select a tool tool number one i will select here for selecting tool you have to give the offset first of all tool offset then and then only you have to choose that tool for this particular cycle for any particular cycle this tool number one f is a feed how much feed you want that is a feed s is rpm spindle speed how much rpm you want whatever rpm you want you can put here yeah so i will put here like 1000 whatever rpm you wanted to create you can put here input then machining you you want roughing or finishing if you will select a single uh, triangle that will be roughing or if you are if you select three triangle that will be finishing cycle what is the main difference between single and triple triangle is that if you will select single triangle this type of tool path will be appear in front of you means you your diameter will be get reduces by depth of cut by using different different type of step by step step by step material will get cut 
but if you will select this finished op uh, option by default your machine will not at all take any type of depth of cut option machine will directly go to your end diameter of your material and machine will cut the material and this is a very risky thing so we should be very careful about this before using anything yeah exactly so i will go for roughing i will select roughing section and then which position i want i wanted to do od id which type of option i wanted to use if i wanted to use id you can use id otherwise od is the best option first option is od i'll select this option then i'll say input after that longitudinal g71 or 72 if i will select longitudinal it will create g71 if i will select face it will become a g72 so whatever option you wanted to use you can use as per your requirement this is a g longitudinal g71 i will say input and then what is my diameter of my workpiece my diameter is of workpiece is let's say 100 mm whatever is that input z is 0 x1 x1 means 100 mm is my roughing di rough diameter means my workpiece diameter and I, what is my finished diameter after turning what should my diameter as per drawing you can put whatever diameter you wanted to put i will put here 80 mm that's sufficient and you can keep this inc is there inc means incremental if you will select select button it will become increment it, it will become absolute and again i will say input this is a z z is a total depth of your word z the size depth or length of your workpiece up to that you wanted to cut your material this is a z length so i will make this again minus 100 whatever you wanted to make you can make it. you can also keep this absolutely fine this is absolute fs1 this is the main beauty and main change of the cycle very important here we have to take care very carefully and we have to understand this topic otherwise it will become a very bigger trouble for you so this is fs1 fs1 means if it's fs that is a chamfer and if you will select select button this will become radius so my machine is asking for first in this animation you can see that in first radius means entry radius what do you want radius or chamfer whatever you want you can put here i want chamfer so i will keep here fs1 and chamfer size is 2 mm whatever is chamfer size you can put it this is a chamfer size fs2 means at the end of this in animation you can see that this end of this profile bottom profile so at this profile what do you want radius or chamfer so i will give here radius so this will be my radius again i will give 3 mm radius i will say input fs3 at this position what do you want radius or chamfer if you want radius you can put radius if you want chamfer you can put chamfer whatever you wanted to put you can put very is absolute and simple way this is the radius so i will put your radius i will say radius r3 and i will give 2 mm radius whatever sometime up, up, uh, students are asking me like Ki, sir if i want to, i don't want to give radius here so what should i do simply put zero simply put zero if you will put zero this will radius or chamfer nothing will come it will direct a sharp edge fine then i will say input ux and ux uz is a finishing allowance if you wanted to do finishing operation after this you can put ux and uz otherwise no need to put anything so i wanted to do finishing operation so i will say uh, point one point one is a finishing allowance for this same so i will say accept after accepting this type of cycle will appear in front of me no need to use any type of g code here as our main principle of this short term program fine 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 exactly fine everything is fine okay so this is my total program i will simulate this and i will check it how it will appear how it will look how the beauty of this program see my toolpath is coming in details i will zoom this see my toolpath is going up to the end of this profile if you will zoom this proper way you can see that see in i will show in different format in uh, further views i will show in face view side view see i will show in another view this is a side view in side view you can easily access this see this is a chamfer whichever i given is a 2 mm chamfer and at the end of this this is a radius there is nothing radius or no chamfer no radius because of i given zero there so this type you can understand very easiest format 
and easiest way how to do roughing and chopping. So hope so Mr. Jason is happy with this our solution. Again, I wanted to show you this uh, finishing cycle. For finishing cycle, no worry. Very easiest way. I will just copy this and I will just say paste. I am just copying this cycle and just saying paste. Once I will say the next cycle will be my finishing cycle. It will not appear. It will come there but I have to create that finishing cycle. So I will again open this cycle and in that here I will use finishing tool. Which is my finishing tool? This is my finishing tool. So you have to give offset separately rather than using this type of offsetting method. And second thing is that again this is asking for finishing. No need to change anything. Just I will put here finishing. Yeah. If I will put here finishing option, if I will select this finishing option, depth of cut option will be get deleted. This depth of cut option will not in appear in front of you. So I will get, I will give finish. I will say accept. Again, I will simulate this how it will appear. In this way, see, this is the roughing cycle is going on. Second cut, third cut, fourth, fifth. 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is a 10th cut. This is a again. Okay, see now another tool will come, and this is a finishing cut. This way, we done roughing and finishing both of options in G71 cycle. You can use G72 also if you will put there just 72 option. So, for that, you have to follow the description box. In description box, again, I given a lot of information. You just go through that video rather than jumping to this video separately okay thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity to serve you to teach you this thing if you wanted to learn more thing you can again ask me in comment box i will definitely try to answer you and solution to your question and again if you are new on my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel that will be a great motivation for myself thank you thanks a lot